got a couple voltage multiplier circuits that I'm going to show in this video. First one's a voltage tripler, which is the one I used in a previous video. It's just two diodes and two capacitors. Uh, the large cap is 35 volt, 12,000 microfarad. And then the nonpolar cap is 470 microfarad, 16 volt. This is a voltage quadrupler, which resembles a bridge rectifier. Now both of these are using one less diode than normal. So they really need to be checked with an oscilloscope to see if there's any kind of voltage ripple that's going to affect any sensitive electronics. Now both of these I'm going to be running with a 6.5 volt AC supply. And here's a diagram of the voltage tripler circuit. Voltage tripler circuit is based on a 1939 patent by James Montgomery titled Voltage Doubler Circuit. It's showing a four plate capacitor. The diagram I'm using shows a three plate capacitor. Up until about the 1950s, I believe they were making low voltage three plate capacitors. This patent's a good example of something I wanted to point out. Here we have the negative polarity. These diodes are drawn totally the opposite of what we draw them today, if you go by the line and the arrow. You see this kind of thing throughout science. I don't think it's just by accident. I think it's done to confuse the next generation. The gear motor I'm using is rated for 24 volt DC and it's a brush motor. You can see I got 18 and a half volts DC from the 6.5 AC. This isn't quite a tripler. It runs somewhere around 2.5 to 2.7 multiplication. Now it drops down to about double the voltage. But with this circuit, if you add more capacitance with the nonpolar cap, you can bring your load voltage back up. Right now it's pretty close to 2.5 multiplication. If I hook this up to, I believe it's 13 and a half volts. Yeah, closer to 2.7. This is the voltage quadrupler circuit. I wanted to see what would happen if I modified a bridge rectifier circuit. An interesting thing about this, if I had a capacitor in line with the AC input, I get zero volts out. And what that tells me is the coil plays a role in the DC circuit. I have 6.5 volts in, 27.3 out. That's four times the input. Under load, it's about 3.5 times the input. Thanks for watching.